crowd still thronging towards the standings to get a view of Barra Hill there. Fred as well as owned by his 59 year old owner, Stan Riley. Phil Tuck there after outstandingly the greatest success of his career. Jenny Pittman. Important to me because it's a big race and if you win this race your horse is a champion. And I think even more so this year because it was a, an intriguing race. Nobody knew what was going to happen. There have been uh, rumours about Borough Hill Lad and those rumours were totally unfounded as you can see today and it made the race even more important because I wanted to, to prove to people that I have been telling the truth and there is nothing wrong with the horse. Uh, when they came down the hill I was very very happy because I knew that he'd got another gear. I mean nobody's seen his top gear this year because he's never had to produce it and once he jumped the second last he absolutely flew and uh, I'm very proud of him and Phil rode him marvellously. I mean he went nipped up Johnny's in around the last bend and there's not many get up Frankham's in it. And uh, he rode him, I said I wanted him to settle in and let the hassle go on early on. And then when they did a circuit, I wanted him to be fourth or fifth and to be riding behind the leaders at the top of the hill for the last time. And he followed those instructions out. I said, you know, obviously you're going to have to make up your own, own mind if things go wrong. But he rode him absolutely superbly. Well, you won the Grand Nationals and the Gold Cup. Where do you go from here? The Derby. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I love the jumpers. They, they're, the, they're the men of this sport. And uh, I, it's never been my wish to train uh, flat horses. And it's my privilege to have trained a Gold Cup winner and a Grand National winner. Will this horse run again this season? No, Johnny won't. Um, I haven't spoke to Stan about it, but it, I would sincerely hope he doesn't want to run him again this year. I think he's done enough. And uh, he's still only a baby. He's only eight years old. And uh, God willing, he'll still improve for another year. He's improved out of all recognition from last year to this year. And it just shows you what a certainty he was in the Welsh National. It took the 10 2 originally, wasn't it? 10-3, John. And um, the only sorry, sad part about it is that I'm not a gambler. And uh, otherwise, I would have been having a holiday in Barbados this year. I probably wouldn't have imagined it. Have you felt the pressure from all the rumours that have been going around about the horse in the last weeks? Yes. Um, I don't like to admit it, but uh, the, it has been a lot of hassle, and uh, I'm glad that the race is over. I'm, I'm glad that the horses have all come back okay. That was my first feeling, that I wanted the horse to come back perfectly okay. Um, it's, it's uncanny that a small stable like mine should have two such wonderful horses as Corbiere and Borough Hill Lad, and they're both very different. I mean, one's an out-and-out stayer, tough cookie, Grand National horse, and the other is a, is, a, is a real athlete with a little bit more class, and it makes him a Gold Cup horse. And I, and I knew the difference in the horses, and I knew that is why um, Borough Hill Lad was uh, a good bet for the for the Gold Cup today. Can you come and do a tremendous double and win the Grand National again in a fortnight's time? John, the horse has got a lot of weight, and uh, I did say to the owners, if he finishes fifth or sixth in the Grand National, he'll run a blinder. There's only one horse won the National with... Uh, 12 stones since the war and that was Red Run and I think the handicapper has made things very difficult for my horse this year but having said that he is a horse with a lot of guts and he's a good jumper and he's an out and out stayer and whatever happens he will be there doing his best he's in, he's in tremendous nick and, I, and I'm very very pleased with the way things are going at the moment. Jenny, fantastic performance, thank you. Thank you. Yay! Yay! Well done, Jenny.